Hi guys, Richie Bop here. Welcome to Sim Saturday. Today I'm going to go through the Sims 4 City Living official trailer. I've watched this once when it first came out, really briefly. I left a little comment on there saying I was really looking forward to seeing what it has in it. I almost felt hypocritical writing that after what I'd said last week. I am genuinely looking forward to it, but I would say that I'm boiling inside with excitement I like I say like when new com content comes now I'm kind of praying that it delivers something exciting so excuse me if I'm not all squiddy and like squealing but I'll I'll go through this say what I like say what I dislike something does make me squeal I'll squeal but I think it's gonna be unlikely let's go through and see what we can see my my that's loud let's turn that down stop desire performed by tegan and sarah don't know you but i'm sure you're lovely right and i'll probably miss a lot of stuff so please point it out down below if you specifically are looking forward to it obviously it's city living so it's all city based it's an expansion it comes out november 1st i like that there's not too much time to wait till that some nice clothing over here like bohemian hippie kind of almost ish um yeah but definitely bohemian styles kind of similar to the was it the movie one that had the garden oh i don't know <laughs> but nice city atmosphere almost like being in central park there very nice let's carry on so a nice little bird flying down there, little pidgey. I love this shot where they're kind of zooming out, making it look like it's so big, and she's this little sim in a big world. There's cars in the background, there's like a monorail, which is really cool. And um, she's wearing some really awesome shoes, and she's got like a map in her hand, which I originally thought was a DVD case. So, not sure about that. Um, and then you've got this nice, let's just wait. Okay, got this nice pan around, it's very deep, almost looks like it goes below ground level, which is very weird, kind of, I think I saw on Twitter it's not curved walls, so I'm not sure what you call that, um, but it's all a little bit bendy and it's, it's definitely very different, the old like, apartment-y type thing, can't resist saying apartment life. Let's keep going. Okay, and then you got a pool up here. Thought that was a merman. Almost freaked out. Wrong pack. <laughs> and then you've got, like, even... Oh. Yeah, you've even got, like, uh, what the extractor fans? Like, this is like a house on, on a, a level. See, we don't know anything about it really. We don't know how it's going to play out. I'm sure there'll be more information that comes out soon. We can only speculate, and I'm sure we will. But we can kind of see in there. It looks nice. It looks like a nice new place. Hopefully, it's a new world. I'm pretty sure it'd have to be. I'm pretty sure this is a new world, right? There's no new life state. I used to like the life states. Sims 4, City living hopefully that doesn't get changed to another word when it's released uh, and then we got like a nice pan in the, uh, this is like maybe the main bit with the like the gym and the bar and whatever the park the standard things you get in a town and there's like a little shark on the side of that building some graffiti I don't know, is that like a toilet or a subway station? There's a little van at the side. Let's keep going. There, I like this with the graffiti thing. That's very cool. I like that a lot. I'm not sure why they're dancing. Oh, they're, oh, they're spraying it. I kind of thought they were dancing on it. So there's a lot of the whole street performing, street art kind of thing. There's a street performer, she's strutting across with what's probably new clothing, is it? Maybe. 
Um, she got a nice guitar there. She's performing the headscarves. They're really trying to, really trying to put that they're getting new headscarves. I love the bench. It's really cool. And then we've got a guy doing a speech. Um, protests, petitions, like a uh, world peace. <laughs> this is great. So they've got the. I love how they've got the people walking over with the new items as well. That like like she's wearing the new clothes. I love this like um arm bangle thing. And then you got the person doing the statue. That's really cool. I hope they have like a floating one with the with the stick, like a Yoda person. And he's got a map behind him as well. Guy playing basketball. So basketball. It's come in. It's almost like a film trailer poster there. One of the nice benches again. More people wearing the new clothes. It seems diverse, which is probably what they wanted. Slam dunk. And then we're going into the apartment now. Um, this is very nice with the brick effect behind them. Oh, the lights went out. They didn't pay their bill. I guess. And then into a more, I don't know, colourful house, apartment. It's the, the nice curtain blind things and all this like cat koi designs on the side. And then this guy playing his keyboard with his rings on. All different kinds of people in all different kinds of places. And it would be nicer if they'd sort of panned up each level of the apartment. Maybe that's not possible. I don't know. I love this girl wearing a like belly dancing outfit. That looks brilliant. What is she drinking out of? If that's a mason jar, I'm going to lose my mind. I don't think it is. And then into this one. He's knocking on the door. Wow. In the... For the noise, so he obviously lives in the same building. He's very eclectic. And then we're building on the top floor here. Lots of new stuff, new colours, new shapes, things fitting into small areas. What the hell is that little room? Um, what's this outfit, please? Oh, this is beautiful. Bit strange, but very beautiful. It's very, very different. And there we go. We're already into drugs reference. Well, not really a drug, but is it a hooker? That sounds wrong. Anyway, it's one of those Egyptian pipe things. I'm very uncultured. So they've made a bubble version, we've had this before um, in The Sims 3, I believe. And yeah, there's a couple of like, there's always undertones of things like this. I've talked about it before and this one kind of has two. So here we have four people um, blowing bubbles and coughing. And then we're having a smooch on the top of a building. Look at that view. That is so beautiful. That's going to be really cool. Right where I want you back. Like SimCity in The Sims. You got a wind farm and construction in that last scene. Um, and then here in the park, you've got all your lights. And it looks lovely on an evening. And then we've got like a, a little eating place. So it's like he's got a chicken on his pinny, but then he's eating soup with chopsticks. That sounds difficult. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, the squid thing from Dine Out, probably. Uh, oh, and then they're having like a hot chili eating competition. It's kind of like the hot dog eating competition that we had. And then he's blowing smoke rings. And then we've got like a bit of a, there's like a comedy club, which is a really cool addition. 
Hopefully it will populate as well as this because it looks quite fun. That, that guy seems very hard to please. And then we got fireworks and this is the thing that I thought was the best actually. I really loved the fireworks. Well when they brought fireworks in The Sims 3 I loved the idea of them and if you could catch like looking at them properly. I thought they were a really cool addition that just didn't get enough attention. And I really really enjoy having the fireworks. It makes the world feel more open somehow. <laughs> And sparklers! Yes! I mean, they don't look the most realistic sparklers, but we're not even allowed sparklers in real life anymore. So, having them in game at least is something. And she's just having a great time. She's so glad she came to the city. She is Carrie. And the fireworks are very low, but I presume that's the game restricting them to be that way. Um, but they do look lovely and it means we'll be able to view them a little bit better. So I'm prepared to take that limitation. Find the perfect apartment, okay. Explore vibrant neighbourhoods. Neighbourhoods. Experience life in the city. So I don't know if each, maybe each neighbourhood could be themed differently. And there we go, available November 1st. Oh, we've got a raccoon playing the keyboard. Um, and yeah, we've got the explorer, we've got the city liver, and then we've got the basketball player. <laughs> I love things like that. That's actually really cool. So I, I love, for me, I like fireworks, I like street performers, I like that pink raccoon playing the keyboard and I think there'll be a lot of content in this for people. I'm looking forward to seeing how it pans out and I hope, I mean I think I'll have a lot of content in it, I get to work, I had a lot in it to do, but I hope it doesn't get monotonous and repetitive. So we'll see. Not long to wait, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about city living? Are you excited? Is it what you wanted? Does it have something in it that has surprised you in a delightful way? Or are you thumbs down? Don't thumbs down this video. Thumbs up this video, regardless of your opinion of The Sims. <laughs> Alright, okay. Let me know if you're going to pre-order or if you already have. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh, and also, it's only two weeks to the meetup. That's far. It's only two weeks to the meetup, so don't forget to get your tickets. A link is in the description.